Hello friends, today we are making dhaba style chole without any kind of store brought chole masala. Old recipes from scratch. Let's begin with the recipe. First, take one cup of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, soak it in water for five to six hours. It will double in size, and now we add some spices to it. One small cinnamon stick, some cloves, peppercorns, one black tea bag, and one medium-sized bay leaf. If you don't have tea bag, you can just use loose tea powder, black tea powder. Soak it in hot boiling water. Strain tea water in chole before boiling chole. This is just an alternative if you don't have black tea bag. You can use this method. Now, before boiling chole, add salt as per taste. Add all the spices we gathered: cloves, tea bags, cinnamon. It will add to the flavor. I'm cutting the bay leaf in half, so it will add more flavor. After this, you can cook it in normal pressure cooker for. Four whistles. I'm using your instant pot. Cook it on high pressure for 30 minutes. Let's make gravy. Take two medium-sized tomatoes. Make puree of it. Take chopped onions. Some finely chopped garlic and ginger paste take a pan place it on high heat adding some oil one tablespoon of oil to this we add cumin seeds let it crackle then pinch of hing let's add chopped onions first and garlic let it turn brown you can add ginger paste also mix it well saute it after it's turned brown add tomato puree to it let it mix well let oil start getting separate once the oil is separated, we add the powdered spices, some chili powder for spicy taste, coriander powder, add half teaspoon of garam masala, this is usual garam masala, turmeric powder, haldi, again salt as per taste salt in proportion to gravy saute it well till oil separates chickpeas are ready it has a nice black color because of the tea bag remove the tea bag discard it now with the smasher we will semi smash some chickpeas just two or three smashes not much don't smash it all just to make gravy little bit thick I'm putting little bit ghee or butter which is totally optional to the gravy and now I'm adding chickpeas to it Mix it well with the gravy and let it cook for 2-3 minutes. Now we add a little bit more flavors to our cooked chole, a piece of jaggery to balance the sweetness with tomato, kasuri methi, dried fenugreek leaves to give it a little bit earthy taste, just a little bit, let it cook for a minute little bit of cilantro for garnish along with all the spices we added black tea 
water kasuri methi adds more earthy flavor to it and makes it an authentic chole just try this and do let me know whether you liked it or not if you like this recipe do share it with your friends and family thank you for watching